The gray bonnet, Phalium glaucum, is a large, helmet-shaped sea snail with a smooth grayish shell, known for burying itself in sandy bottoms where it uses its long siphon to breathe. This species is widespread in the Indo-Pacific, from eastern Africa, Madagascar, Mozambique, Tanzania, to southern Japan and Melanesia. This species lives on sandy bottoms with seagrass meadows, in intertidal and shallow subtidal areas to a depth of about 10 meters. The shell of Phalium glaucum can reach a length of 2.4 to 5.8 inches. The shell is moderately large, globular, and helmet-shaped. It is smooth and uniformly ash-gray or pale brown. The aperture, opening, is dark brown inside, and the outer lip and columella, central axis, are orange to yellow. The outer lip is thickened with a few sharp spines at the edge. These shells are helmet-shaped with a large body with concentric circles and tiny spires. The surface of shell is smooth and uniformly grayish or pale brown. The mollusks have a white body and a large yellowish or whitish foot which is edged in reddish brown. The operculum, trapdoor, is bright yellow and fan-shaped. Usually, this sea snail buries itself in the sandy areas with the long siphon sticking out. It has a long tube, siphon, that extends upwards from under the sand for respiration. Like other members of its superfamily, tenoidea, it can use a highly acidic salivary secretion to help prey on other marine invertebrates and as a defense mechanism. The species is gynecoric, sexes are separate, and broadcast spawns. Embryos develop into planktonic larvae before becoming fully grown adults. Reproduction involves several females spawning together to create irregular masses of egg capsules on the substrate. After fertilization, embryos develop into microscopic, free-swimming trachopholarvae. These use bands of cilia to navigate and feed on plankton. The trachopho matures into a veliger, a more advanced planktonic stage where the cilia develop into a velum or swimming organ. This stage can last for several weeks, allowing ocean currents to disperse the larvae over long distances. Once the veliger matures, it sinks to the sandy seabed. It then undergoes metamorphosis, developing its first shell, the protoconch, and transitioning into a juvenile snail. Adults live primarily on sandy substrates and seagrass meadows, often at depths of 10 to 50 meters. They are predators that specialize in feeding on sea urchins, particularly sand dollars.